An official in Ukraine's Ministry of Defense says some of the country's forces have indeed gone from the defensive to the offensive, an admission that Ukraine has launched an initiative to retake land currently being held by Russian forces. Natalie Brand has more from Washington. The opening phases of the long-awaited Ukrainian counteroffensive is underway. Russia's military is reporting heavy fighting in the Zaporizhia region, the area connecting Russia to Crimea. Britain's defense ministry says fighting continues along multiple sectors of the front, with Ukrainian forces appearing to make progress. Mr. Prime Minister. It's great to have you back. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak met with President Biden at the White House Thursday. Together we're providing economic, humanitarian aid and security assistance to Ukraine in their fight against the brutal invasion of the Russians. The fighting has hampered efforts to rescue people from the flooding caused by this week's explosion at the Novokakovka Dam. Ukraine's president, who toured the devastation, is calling for a faster international response to help the thousands impacted. Drones dropped bottles of drinking water to people stranded in their homes, while soldiers and volunteers worked around the clock to rescue those trapped by the floodwaters. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington.